Welcome to another edition of Grez G-R-E-S and I uh, thank you for taking the time to look at this video it's a little bit something different uh, this is a drive along um, Philadelphia got about 45 minutes in Philadelphia Kensington area as you could see to the right of you where we started um, geez and um, really guys if you don't know about Kensington like uh, I, I thought I knew about Kensington but uh, I really didn't know how bad it was um, the reason why I found myself in Philadelphia Kensington um, is because I was doing uh, Rocky filming locations and um, I will attach that video uh, to this video and um, man it just uh, in Kensington as this is all Kensington right now as you can see um, it, it's in and since then I've looked on YouTube and various videos on Kensington it's uh, unfortunately it's almost like a, a place where everyone that um, wants to get lost where they where they cannot be found because there's so many people um, that all look the like in a sense of they're all strung out on drugs and they're all strung out on drugs and they all hang out on that main strip um, of Kensington underneath the train tracks um, and it's you know so so odd so it's just like you, I like I was in shock like I've seen people giving each other injections shooting each other up in the arm just in the middle of broad daylight as you could see uh, and just doing it uh, without a, a, a care in the world uh, there was no care in the world and no no the people seem to be uh, very hopeless uh, and despair it was sad um, you know when you um, you hear heard stories in in, in, the, in the film Rocky right they were saying that Rocky's neighborhood was a rough and tough and this is actually um, the street of where Rocky's house was uh, I'm just parked as you could see I, I pulled up um, it's the house right behind this one with the with the lamp yeah I, I know you can't see it that well but this was the street of uh, where Rocky was filmed um, yeah that's where his uh, house was actually in the movies um, it, it's it, it's not a rough neighborhood I, I I don't think it's just a sad neighborhood just where people that you know are, are down on the luck um, had some misfortune uh, had a few things that did not go their way um, and, you know, and just and it, it's almost zombie like and, and and I say that with total respect um, it, it, they're so high so strung out on whatever they're on that they're asleep standing that there's sleeping standing up or hunched over sleeping 
or in a, a, a drug drug haze it's really sad and um, you know I kind of knew of Kensington didn't really know how bad it was especially on that strip there uh, we're still in Kensington uh, this is uh, this area as you can see it's a little bit um, not as bad as the uh, location uh, as to where <coughs> Rocky's apartment was. So this is a little bit uh, different, it's a little bit more uh, developed. They actually did have some um, new develop, uh, developmental houses, uh, new housing developments, um, new kind of like hipster restaurants along this area too. Uh, and, and just uh, a, a lot cleaner as, as you could see. Um, you know, that part of Kensington where Rocky's apartment was, where we were, um, a lot of the stores, um, businesses were closed, um, not functioning, not opened. Um, a lot of emptiness there. And I'm pulled over here. I don't know why I was pulled over. I believe it was... I was this is the vicinity uh, that's right this is the vicinity if uh, my memory serves me correctly where we were looking for um, the old uh, establishment for um, where Rocky's um, where the gym was that he trained where we're pulling out right now I think I made a mistake there but um, yeah I mean still in the Kensington area you see the, <laughs> you see the water fountain there running um, you know these row homes I probably tell you uh, yeah I don't know um, using my professional mortgage and real estate um estimation i would probably tell you these homes go for about uh say about a hundred and yeah, that, well in this area this rough for part of kensington i probably tell you 80 to 80 to about 125,000. If that makes sense I believe that's a safe number and uh, you know usually too if you're wondering um, you know these row homes are usually um, well either let's backtrack you could you know uh, technically uh, these homes are relatively cheap and uh, to, to own them, you know, if you have a semi respectable, you know, decent credit uh, score, if you have three and a half percent, you could actually put that down and uh, on a government loan there on an FHA loan, you have to have fairly decent credit that would get you actually into the um, into a house. And I pulled over, um, as you could see, well, we probably can't see the best, but this is the uh, gym from the movie, from the Rocky movies where, um, where Rocky uh, trained. And uh, right across the street uh, would be where uh, Rocky met, um, Adrian 
but of course at the pet shop continuing going down um here uh we're we're now, we're now driving away uh from kensington this is no longer considered uh kensington uh the area is a little bit um better here Yeah, I mean, Philadelphia, uh, we went there on a, where did we go there? Uh, it was during the week, during the work week. I mean, I, I know it was um, summertime. We went there in August, so we're doing this video. Um, you know, I'm uploading it a little bit later there uh, than when we went there, but when we went there, in August, uh, the traffic was uh, relatively light. There were certain periods there where a certain part when we were trying to get down to, I believe, the financial district, uh, where there was a little bit of traffic, but nothing too crazy. I think a lot of people still working uh from home, uh, but nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. So now we're gonna kind of backtrack, and uh, we're gonna. I showed you Kensington first. Now this is going to be uh, approaching, you know, the Philadelphia area. Just wanted to show you Kensington first, and this is it's gonna be approaching the Philadelphia area. We're gonna go through a little bit of a bridge, <laughs> bridges here, tolls. Um, you're also going to see, I don't know if you're going to see, but along the way, look out for um, Citizens Bank, where the Phillies play on the left, and also where the Eagles play. Uh, that's there as well, if you're interested in that. I mean, <laughs> they, they do stink, so uh, they do stink, so I, I wouldn't be shocked if you're not interested uh but we're going to do um gonna leave you off uh, a little bit here and um just gonna let you hear the, the the sights and sounds um some royalty free music as we cruise along and uh, we'll jump back in. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> jump. Let me leave you with, with something better here. I know you don't want to hear my voice forever. <laughs> let, 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 let's look at what we have yeah we definitely have something something better than that <laughs> okay here we go vibe with me Thank you. 
Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, there's more music to come, here we go, flying high, royalty free. gonna jump right in here and back to the music this is um, the in, like it's very industrial area famous 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 Tony Luke's right there we pulled into um, under the bridge there it's the Betty Ross bridge and um, Tell you what, you go inside Tony Luke's. Uh, we waited there for maybe 10 minutes for our food, maybe 15 minutes. Um, there were a good number of people there. It was around uh, lunchtime. Tony Luke's, uh, right under the bridge there. I've been there before. And uh, I'll tell you this. <laughs> I. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're pretty. Yeah, you're pay, you're paying a penny, relatively speaking. Okay, I think I think it was like between the sandwich and the fries and the drink. Don't quote me on this. Uh, I think, God, I think it came out to like thirty dollars, maybe. But the place is damn good. Now I know you have other places. You have Pats. Geno's, uh, but you know I could see this place um, being extra extra packed, especially like on um, during the Eagle games, uh, during the Philly games as well, when they're playing at home, because uh, this is right near, uh, right near it. This is um, right off of the. Betty Ross uh, Bridge. Betty Ross Bridge, I think, is what it was. And um, we're now going. This one past Tony Luke's, uh, but damn good. Uh, damn good. Um, you really, if you're looking for some, if you, if you're looking for it to eat, it's more of a. It's not like a, a, a restaurant per se. It's uh, more of a how can I say? Like it's indoor outdoor type of a deal as far as the establishment. Like um, I, I, they have enclosed. What's the word I'm looking for? It's probably enclosed seating. But you are like outside, but you're inside. If that makes any sense, <laughs> it probably doesn't. But listen, it's to me, it's well worth it. I didn't try uh, anything else. Um, and it's not like I live far from Philly, relatively speaking, but just whenever we came down here to. Uh, to Philly, uh, I've always stuck with Geno's because it was convenient. 
and you have like uh, you have like parking right there I don't know if these uh, with these other places you know how, how quickly how readily readily accessible um, is the parking right so that always plays a part and uh, you know we're driving around now uh, this is I guess you could consider this South Philly this part here South Philly right uh, South Philly it is I'm gonna go with South Philly <laughs> but yeah listen I hope you're enjoying some of the um, some of the uh, the sights of Philadelphia the city of brotherly love uh, it's gonna pick up uh, soon uh, where we're going to see um, you know going to drive uh, in uh, in downtown Philadelphia so I'm gonna take you there as well no need to be alarmed folks we'll, you will see that as well uh, where you know the the business um, motor financial buildings are as well so let's jump back into uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of vibes as we're going through uh, Philly some uh, some driving music shall you I thought that parking was weird by the way did you guys see that like the like the cars were parked like in the middle of the road that is so strange and uh, you know I know Philly is relatively a big city um, but New York doesn't have that 
that's easily a very easy way to get into an accident uh, just my two cents there I never seen anything like that now granted New York oh in a fine mayor that we have here has the you know has bike lanes and all this other nonsense that you can imagine oh citizens bank on the right hand side there big props to citizens bank if you know you know there we go and uh, we're continuing down the streets of Philadelphia what's that song go Philadelphia freedom uh -huh, uh -huh. yes I am back to some music there I'll jump in Here we are approaching the road of the location in um, Rocky where the, the, he has the restaurant uh, in, in memory of uh, Adrian. So right down this road here, um, again, this is the part of Philadelphia, nice part here of Philly, um, hipsterish to say the least, and I pulled over here and the restaurant is actually up the uh, up the block, right in front of. Maybe not. Uh, it's literally like right past this um, sidewalk um, eatery restaurant place thingamabob that you have here. Um, it's nice <laughs> it, it looks just like the filming location I wish and uh, here we go we're gonna pass it there you go it's uh, right there I don't know if you're able to see it, it was right there on the left um, but on a side note if you're into like a lot of uh, filming locations type of videos which I am here too as, as you can see on, on this channel you have a lot of places where you could um, you could plan out your whole day you know unfortunately I didn't have um, the whole whole day to kind of go through everything and look at it um, but realistically you could pretty much there's a lot of places in Philadelphia where Rocky was filmed um, but yeah, like I said, unfortunately, I was only able to go to about four or five places. Um, hopefully we could, you know, come back here again and, you know, do a, a two-part or a three-part or whatever the case may be. But yeah, definitely um, allow yourself uh, extra time um, to see the uh, locations for Rocky. Uh, it's history nostalgia like I always said I'm really into that um, knowing uh, you, know, you kind of what's around you and doc I've always been fascinated uh, by that just uh, it's just a cool part I'm just you know 
fascinating. So we're now, as if you could see straight ahead or approaching, you're going to be seeing some of the big buildings. No, not like New York City big. Still relatively big. Um, we're going to be approaching... Um, downtown Philly, uh, home of the uh, Franklin Institute uh, as well, by the way, which is uh, which was worth uh, seeing into if you're into museums and science. If that's not your thing, well, then <laughs> it's um, you know a 90, 95 degree day like um, like it was over here. Then we went. You could always go in there and you could always, 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 um, you could always, uh, cool off because there's nothing wrong with cooling off, folks. Nothing wrong. Ah, and there we see everyone's favorite store. Especially the Housewives of America, Target, on the left, on the corner, Target. No problemos. I'm going to leave you guys with some more tunes, more sounds, and uh, I will jump back in when I think it's a uh, necessity and uh, we'll, we'll see where we are. Of course, as, as soon as the commercial stops playing.
If your child is at least 12 years old, getting them vaccinated. And you, do you, do you know what I noticed in uh, Philadelphia as I was driving uh, downtown here? No honking. No honking. It's like a, 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 a beautiful, beautiful thing where no one honks. No honking. Where, you know, in New York, they're really aggressive drivers. As soon as the light turns green, and you know, move beep, beep. Seriously. And again, um, you know, city of, of Philadelphia is accessible by bus. So you got the bus there. And you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, you got the bus there as transportation. I believe the bus is called SEPA, the bus line, SEPA, S-E-P-A. I believe whenever you're in Philly and you're looking for bus, it's SEPA. SEPA. As you can see in, you know, downtown Philly is uh, trying to uh, shopping centers and uh, shopping stores, rather, and CBS and uh, Marshalls. Marshall's there, and um, I don't know. Does did this part remind you guys when you were watching it? Have you ever been to New York? Did it remind you kind of of like a portion of it of Philadelphia, like Times Square? Maybe, right? Maybe. I'm not. I don't think I'm too far off, right? Yeah, I think that I think that would make sense. We're turning our right here on Panda Express. Always as a safety tip, safe the reminder here. Always look for pedestrians before you make a turn. And uh, oh yes, I know where I was going here. <laughs> Let me tell you, folks. I was looking for parking and um, paid $30 and, I, and the car was only um, in the parking lot there for maybe three hours. I don't know, you gotta, that, the, the parking was a little sketchy with me, so you gotta you got to make sure you do your research um, in regards to parking and parking garages and where you uh, want to park because they do not do any favors for you as far as actual parking. No Surrey. No Surrey. Let's slide back into the uh, music one last time. We're going to rejoin you in a matter of uh, moments. Sit back, relax. And uh, let's do it. Hold on one second. <laughs> See, smells like summer. Oh, let's see, smells like summer, Dell. And it was summer here. Let's see what this music sounds like. No, not that. Thank you. 
I will bid you adieu from here, folks, and uh, you will be approaching. Keep your eye out on the Rocky statue on the right, right after we pass this kind of a circular motion street here. It's coming up, folks. Philadelphia, I'm impressed. Uh, clean. Uh, the city was clean. Uh, Kensington, you know, rough part very sad very depressing i hope you like this drive along video and uh mahalo folks see you in the next video